I'd like to welcome you back to another video. This one was a little bit of a surprise for us. We didn't expect to actually be able to get access to this because we rode by and saw that it seems like it was closed up, but we actually caught the owner and he told us to go right ahead and uh, take a look. So it was actually very gracious of him and uh, definitely want to thank him for that and also maybe help get him some business in the future. Uh, but this is the Whistle Stop Caboose Lodge, which this is in Catawissa, Pennsylvania. They also have the River Station Diner here, which is part of the old train station. And where you're seeing this locomotive sitting right here, by the looks of it, was the original Catawissa line. Because not only do you have the sign here, but hidden behind it is a telegraph pole with insulators on it. Way up there. But you can see that this could have been the original alignment that would have went straight across that direction, which may be another train station type building over there, but looks like it would have went right through here. But what we're here to check out is one, this awesome locomotive, which looks like it would have been part of the original Catawissa Railroad. So this may have steamed through the Schumann Tunnel at one time, but then it's also different cabooses. Right here where we're parked next to, we got a Redding caboose in red. There's a New Haven. So Rich Discoveries, if you're watching, there's a New Haven caboose. And you can rent these out. Um, they do allow you to rent them out. There's another green and yellow Redding, Lehigh Valley, New York City, or I'm sorry, New York Central, Pensy Car, and it looks like possibly a Conrail over there. We even have this little tool house building here, which may be original to the railroad. And you can see this one has a Camelback tender on it, similar to, um, similar to the Baldwin 26 at Steamtown, just not as steep and as long. <clears throat> so I wonder if there's another pole. So there may have been telegraph lines on that pole at one time too. And you can see the rails are still here. So these cabooses and this locomotive are still sitting on the original Catawissa line. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And then, like I said, this is probably the original train station here. You can tell by the construction of it and the old tongue and groove wood on the outside that this is an old structure. Oh, getting dripped on. <laughs> but one cool part here right now at the moment is I have my extendable selfie stick so I can give you an inside look, even though this is fenced off I'm giving an inside look of this locomotive you can see right into the firebox right here I'll give you a, you even have the tongue and groove wood in the ceiling here and here you can see the fire fireman's seat conductor seat or I'm sorry, the fireman's seat. And then over here would be the engineer's seat. So right now you're seeing more than I can see because this is all up real high that I can't even see up in there. So I'll have to wait and watch it with you guys with the footage, or at least when I edit anyway. So this was definitely a treat. Yeah, was not expecting this. <laughs> There's a, another look at the telegraph pole. That's neat that that's still there and it still has the insulators on it. Now there is a restaurant, like I said, there is a restaurant in here. It is closed right now, but they do have a banner saying that they are open for business. But, and what I believe was the owner that I talked to when I asked about coming in here, he said that they are open, but it seems like they're closed today.
This is neat with the track here with the brick. I actually got the brick walkways. Now I don't know if there's anybody actually in the cabooses right now, if anybody's staying here or renting any of them, so we're probably not what? Oh, Jay's telling me to take a look inside this. This is the Watchman's building. It even has the old style um, lock with the chain on it. Oh, hey, look at that. The Watchman is active. He is here. You got an old typewriter. Block that for you. Looks like maybe a counting machine or something. You got uh, there's a rubber stamp and a little gas lamp that's neat and you can see the wood needs a little help and restoration but it's pretty much intact there's a piece of an insulator right here on the ground that is pretty awesome So I'm not sure what this building is. It says sorry closed. Maybe there's a museum or something in there. I love that old Pensy caboose. That is awesome. This this whole thing is awesome. There's an eerie caboose over here. Oh, Jay's up on the top there. Oh, this one's got a window out of it. We can get you an inside look at the uh, Redding car here. Or Redding, Red... This one's got the window out, and so we can get you an inside look of the Redding caboose here. Which this one does have on it that it's being restored, and by the gentleman who is restoring it, its name is on it. Another cool thing is they got these staircases going up so you can easily ac access. Here's the, the steering wheel, Alan, if you're watching. And again, they got the original uh, railroad style lock, but then they're in a, a modern padlock, which you can kind of see inside here. There's a bunk here to the left of me. It's a little hard to see through this screen. Oh, I'll have to lift it up. There we go. That's better. Oh, you got a little TV with a VHS combo. That's uh, very retro. <laughs> um, there's bunk beds back there on the left and another bed on the right. And. Looks like a couple chairs in there, There's some keys laying in there. So it's pretty nicely laid out. Definitely want to look into maybe coming here and renting one of these sometime. I think that would be an awesome experience. Plus I wanted to do the one in Strasbourg as well. But this one is pretty close to Knobles, being in Catawissa. So this would be a neat place to come and stay and then go to Knobles for a day or a weekend or what have you. And it looks like each one's sitting on rails as well. So they laid in rails for each location. Plus you get a whole site that has picnic tables. This one has a grill set up in there. Um, no benches to sit on. Is there? So Jay just spotted a speeder back there where he's at. I'm probably not gonna be able to see inside of this one. This has a uh, uh, full door, but uh, it looks like it's partially open. So I don't know if somebody's in here or not, but this one's done up as New Haven. 
Looks like it might have been Penn Central at one time. It's green underneath. That's wild. That's a good possibility. You never know. Yeah, look at all the green paint. This could have been a Penn Central. Yeah, that door's kind of open. It's not locked, but I'm not going to... Yeah, as I'm walking around it more, I'm finding more and more green. So this may have been a Penn Central car at one time, or caboose at one time. Sorry, I keep calling them cars or cabooses. <coughs> but here's where the main power comes in. So that you have electricity inside. There's the uh, top of the stack there for the uh, wood stove inside. Which, yeah, there's another one up there. <laughs> so over here we got an Erie. So like I said, again, here's another site. So I'm not sure, I guess, that one, the end one has the site in between, then that one has this site, then this one has this site. I'm not sure how that's laid out because it doesn't make sense because this one looks like this site goes with this one and that site goes with that one. So you said there's a speeder back here. There's another a gray caboose over there. I think that Conrailer, the blue one, is over here too. I'm not seeing the speeder. Where did he see it at? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, it's right there. Huh, that's pretty cool. So we'll come over here and check out this Erie, which by the looks of the Erie one, doesn't look like it's being used. It's kind of overgrown. And this porch thing here is sitting here. But it could be being used because there's stuff set up on the other side of it. So I don't know if they just, they rent these out to the, here's a bunch of track. I'm walking right past it, not even looking. <laughs> I don't know if they just rent these out to the general public. There's a broken window on there. No, there's just a bunch of stuff parked here, I guess. So yeah, this one doesn't look like it's being used. It's all overgrown. high plate laying here. Yeah, that's when the door's open on it. Uh, I'm not doing three points of contact, but yeah, this one's definitely not being used. <laughs> it's a little dusty and crusty in there, so, but it has still original seating in it and the bench and it definitely smells musty. This had water in it. You can see the water line. This was flooded. Huh. That's wild. And it's it, it got pretty deep, too. So that whole stove was completely underwater. Because you can see the water line where it went back down. So this is all... It does smell like it was flood damaged. There's a birdie. So this one's a birdhouse. <laughs> so I don't know if that flood could have been from... Because the river is right on the other side here. So I don't know if that could have been flooded from that. Because I don't see any markings on the outside. <clears throat> oh yeah. Right here. Yeah, you can see the mud right there. Huh. I wonder what, when that was. Because I highly doubt they set that in here flooded like that but all right we'll continue on back up here because there's more to see up here got a mark here june 29th 2006 flood marking right there on the wall so yeah that water was all the way up to here 
So all of these were, especially that eerie one, that did get underwater. So maybe that was down lower at one point and they raised it up because looking at that line on this building, the trucks would have been underwater, but the rest of it's up high enough that it would have not gotten inside. So not sure what happened there, but you can see, I mean, they're, they're doing work here little by little. You get this brick wall that's being redone. So where I'm standing was all underwater at one point. So that's probably why that's closed because that got water damaged as well. All right, so here's the redding, green and yellow redding caboose. Lehigh Valley caboose. Huh. I hear air leaking. There's water running right there. So this, these are in use. Over here is Pennsylvania caboose, which Whistle Stop Fence Company office. That's what was on the vehicle, the owner that I talked to in New York Central. So I don't know if they're renting these out to people that live in. Oh, look at this. This is neat. Root of the Black Diamond, Lehigh Valley Caboose, cab number 95039, built four of 46 and cost $5,840. That's neat. Even though it says built six of 44 on it, this one says 46. It looks like it's backwards. Huh. So that's not a Conrail caboose? It could be. It's a bay window. So yeah. I mean, there's a chance. But they painted everything blue. Even the yeah, I see that. It looks like the, look at the back of the switch. It looks like they collided me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, I got another uh, thing to point out to you, too. So here's a garden hose running into over here. So here's that speeder. Doesn't look like, okay, so whatever that is, it looks like it's just storage in the back. And then here is this gray one, whatever. These are both bay window ones. So we're not sure if they're uh, Conrail or not. Ooh, this has a flathead Ford V8 in it. No way. Huh, that is cool. Nice. That one's actually, looks like it's unlocked, but probably won't go up there. Oh, yeah, this one has got collision damage back here, too. Huh. This one's got a little bit of collision damage. I wonder what happened with that. You can see they got sewer pipes running out. Through them. To them. So somebody must be using this one because there's a grill under here. Sounds like we got somebody giving some information here. Oh, it's Jake. Oh no, it wasn't Jake. There's a Penn Central. <laughs> I thought so. So here's a look at the front of this. Oh, it's a Plymouth. So this is one of those gas engine Plymouth locomotives. I, actually have uh, I forget what they call it. They have another name for it. It's not a caboose. It's actually a, like a service car, they call it or something. But, okay, so we got a little bit of information. We got a gentleman who's a caretaker here that works on this stuff who told us that this is the main line, the original Catawissa main line coming through here. So it's all original tracking. And then there's a switch right there that comes in over to where these two cabooses in the Plymouth are sitting. So this is all original Catawissa tracking. 
So my hunch on that was correct. And then we do have this Penn Central. I forget what they call this. There is another name for it. It's not a caboose, but it's, uh, I just saw it in somebody else's video recently, but I can't remember the name of it right off hand. But this is neat seeing a in Penn Central lettering, even though it doesn't look like it's the right color green. That's this house? Could be. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, you know what? That would be the switch house because the switch is right there. So that would make sense. So here's the back side. It has a staircase and a landing to get up. And then it has some furniture on the back. You can see there's a bed frame in there or a headboard for a bed in there. And yes, they do have, being this close to the river, they do have flooding issues here so that is correct as well this is the switching you think so jake just pointed out there's a switch right here and then jay was pointing out over here there's a signal post signal light post so we'll go back around down over on this side and give you a look at that Yeah, that's the insulator. Or did you see the fire extinguisher? Yeah. There's an old fire extinguisher. It'll, uh... Oh, it's got four locks. I forget what these are called. <laughs> but this is one that you flip it upside down. That's why it has this. You flip it upside down and it's just water. You just mm -hmm. squirt it out. It's like gravity fed. So here's the signal. I didn't even see it. You guys probably picked it out when I walked through here the first time and I didn't even catch it. I didn't even look at it, but you got one single sing, uh, signal light on there. And then up top, you got the multicolor green and red lenses up there. And of course, here's a uh, railroad crossing sign that I missed. Yeah, we got a trail camera. They do have cameras up too, so. But yeah, this is, we'll take a walk around the station here. Give you a good look at that. I'll give you a side look through here. This is not a big steamer, but it's still pretty decent size. So I'm gonna work my way around the other side here for you as quick. You can see how honestly that's where you see. You can see how where you can see where all little squirts out from where it was applied. Mm -hmm. Over the years, how it piled up. Yeah, like logs. So wow. we're getting an inside look in the hot box of the original grease. That is wild. So what better way to advertise a caboose motel along the highway to let you know that you're close by than a caboose billboard. So as you can see, they have the Whistle Stop Fence Company and the Catawissa Railroad labeled on each of these two cabooses here but then they also have hiding back over here in a fenced in area a conrail caboose so uh yeah i just wanted to bring this 
show you this as the billboard. Everything is posted. Um, you cannot get to the bridge from this side because it ends right there. Uh, obviously, that's fenced in and it looks like from what we can see over here, there may be cameras over there too. So I uh, definitely would not recommend going over there. But at least admire it from what, like where we're at. Alongside the road here, along 42. So as you come up out of Catawissa on 42, you will see this off to your right as you're heading towards Bloomsburg. And this is your advertisement or billboard for the Caboose Hotel. So, All right, guys. So I'm going to use the actual train station as a backstop for my outro. So... That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, again, if you wanna check out the, uh, the River Station Diner to just come here and grab something to eat, or if you were looking at, they did actually open up yesterday. So the, the caboose part is open, the rentals are open. Uh, I can put a phone number down in the description below for you to call for prices uh, and put whatever information that I have on hand. Uh, one of the gentlemen here that's working gave me a business card. so. I'll put whatever information in the description below for you. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested in renting a caboose and you're in the Catawissa area, it's close to Knobles, uh, close to Bloomsburg, the Bloomsburg Fair. It's uh, definitely something worth looking into if you're into rail history. So uh, again, I did, I was joined with JP Videos and uh, Mr. Smith Net, Jake. Their links will be in the description below as well. And uh, I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Uh, for more future content, make sure to ring the bell to all so that way you get notified of future content. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.